Hello everyone, Kevin Dennis, Tech Services with Werner Fall Protection. Welcome to today's Tech Talk. Today's topic is temporary horizontal lifelines. Before we jump into the details of Werner horizontal lifelines, we have to back up a little bit and talk about the unique nature of all horizontal lifelines. Uh, the main issue being the amount of load that the lifeline and end anchors may experience. In a fall arrest system, there's usually only one anchor. When a fall occurs, whatever force results, the same force has to be held by the anchor. So if a system is using a class one SRL, it'll have an arresting force of 1,350 pounds. The anchor will realize the same 1,350 pounds. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between the forces evolved in the fall and the resulting forces on the anchor. But it all changes with a horizontal lifeline. Whenever some type of line or material is strung between two points, force vectors can increase the loads on the end anchors. So the one-to-one -one principle doesn't apply to horizontal lifelines since the loading can change. If we use the same class 1 SRL on a horizontal lifeline, the forces on the person and the SRL will be 1,350 pounds, but due to force vectors, the forces on the end anchors and the tension on the line may be much higher they could be as high as 15 to 1. So unlike single anchor vertical fall arrest systems where a 5,000 pound anchor covers the use of most all systems, the load on horizontal lifelines and the anchors change and can change dramatically depending on the span of the line, the tension of the line, the number of people connected to the line, and what equipment they're using. So most importantly, don't make your own horizontals running a cable or rope between two points, tensioning it up and attaching to it is illegal. And more importantly, it's dangerous without having proper analysis or having adequate energy absorption ability. You could fail the line, you could fail the components, or you could even fail the end structure if the loads are high enough. This is why all occupational health and safety regulators require horizontal lifelines be designed, installed, and used under the supervision of a qualified person even a registered professional engineer in some jurisdictions. Safety regulations require that the end anchors, as well as all of the components of the line, maintain a safety margin of two to one of the tension on the line. So during fall arrest, if the line design results in a load of 4,500 pounds, the line and the anchors are required to be rated at 9,000 pounds, a two to one margin. And what determines that load is the span, the tension of the line, the number of people connected to the line, and what equipment they're using. So let's take a look at the Werner horizontals. Werner has done all of the engineering needed for the line. You still have to select the right anchorage, but Werner has considered the span, the material of construction, tensioning the line, and the number of people in the design. Rope systems are available up to 100 feet in length, cable systems up to 60 feet, two people maximum, and there's a number of anchorage connector options available. D-ring anchors, anchor straps, fixed beam clamps, mega swivels, and pour-in-place sleeves with anchor posts are available. Rope systems use a polyester nylon blended static kern mantle rope that has an inner core protected by an outer sheath, which is a high quality, reliable construction method for ropes. Cable systems use a tried and true 3 8 inch galvanized wire rope. Knowing what we know now about the potential for higher anchor loads, all Werner horizontals include a high capacity energy absorber with a lifeline. This energy absorber controls the loads on the line and the end anchors to less than 2,500 pounds. It deploys much like a traditional energy absorber on a lanyard, but it has a higher tear out force and more length to handle the potential loads. Since the inline energy absorber restricts the forces below 2,500 pounds, all Werner horizontals are compatible with your typical 5,000 pound anchorage to satisfy the two to one regulatory requirement. Obviously, you still have to do some homework like every fall arrest system to make sure the anchor is good, it's in the right location, and you have sufficient clearance. But horizontal lifelines like these are a great option for temporary applications. To tension the Werner lines, you'll see three different options. For cable systems, they're pulled tight by hand and final tension is made by tightening the turnbuckle until the indicating washer reaches proper tension and can move. 
Rope systems will be pulled tight by hand and final tension is made by tightening the rope tensioner to 60 pounds of torque. The ratchet tensioner is the other option and it's a great feature since the spring handle releases when proper tension is reached. It's fast and you don't have to measure anything. People will connect to the line with either a lanyard or an SRL. Either is fine because they both have personal energy absorbers that will not only reduce forces on the person, but they also have to control the load put on the horizontal, which in turn makes the input loads into the horizontal predictable. Once you know the environment in which the lifeline is being used, you can estimate the clearance. Inside the instructions for every line, there are clearance charts for lanyards or SRLs where you can step off the span, measure the height of the walking working service, and compare that to the information on the chart. So thank you very much. Reach out to Warner or your local rep if you have any questions about horizontal lifelines.